Hello, I'm Professor Cindy Shannon Weikert, and I've dedicated my life to trying to find better treatments for people who are suffering from schizophrenia. So you may ask, what is schizophrenia? Well, schizophrenia is a disease that's actually diagnosed by clinical interview, unlike a lot of other medical diseases which are diagnosed based on blood tests or MRI scans, there is no discrete test that will actually confirm the diagnosis of schizophrenia at the biological level. So that requires a psychiatrist to interview a patient and to look for a constellation of symptoms. So what are the symptoms that the psychiatrist would be looking for? Well, they're looking for things that are grouped together as positive symptoms. They're not called positive symptoms because they're good things. They're called positive symptoms because these are something that's present in a person with schizophrenia that doesn't occur in a person that's not suffering from schizophrenia. And these could be breaks from reality. Schizophrenia really means a break between what's in the mind and what's happening externally. So positive symptom would be a hallucination, hearing voices that aren't really there, seeing things that don't really exist. Those would be auditory and visual hallucinations. It can also involve delusions, delusions of paranoia, thinking that you're actually being pursued by a foreign agency that's directing your thoughts, directing your behavior, threatening you um, even in your own home. So these can be scary. Sometimes these delusions can be delusions of grandeur, thinking that you're a king or that you're premier of, of the country. But very often they're scary. So the other constellation of symptoms that the doctors a psychiatrist would be looking for would be negative symptoms. These are things that everyday people express and exhibit that a person with schizophrenia fails to exhibit. These would be things like motivation in your daily life, wanting to get out of bed, engaging socially, feeling in tune with the world, having appropriate emotions. So basically people with schizophrenia can have a blunted affect or even inappropriate emotions. When everybody else is laughing, they're angry. Or when everybody's sad, they're laughing or feeling no emotion at all. Another thing a person with schizophrenia that can, they can exhibit that a normal person would not is derailment of thought. They could be having a conversation in one minute talking about one topic and switch to the next topic in the next sentence and the next topic in another sentence. They can also be very perceptive in their speech, saying the same thing over again in different contexts. So there's very often disturbances in language and communication. And sometimes there's actually a lack of words or difficulty with finding the right words. That would be called elogia. So when you see this constellation of symptoms happening in a person who didn't exhibit them before, and um, oftentimes they can have difficulty concentrating at work or in school, then that would lead the psychiatrist to want to make a differential diagnosis and try to determine and rule out that there's drugs of abuse involved, that that person may have another um, psychotic disorder like bipolar. So there's usually then a process where they're ruling out other things to be able to settle on the diagnosis of schizophrenia. So one thing to keep in mind is that schizophrenia is a diagnosis it's made by clinical interview, and it's made by excluding other factors. If you were to find an organic cause for their apparent um, bizarre behavior, then it would not be schizophrenia, but it would be something else.